Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you how to run a DT project in the server machine by command line. The steps here apply for any version of B2B data transformation. So the agenda for the videos. First you need to develop a DT project in your client machine. And if you have already done it, you can import it using the uh, import utility available in the data transformation studio. To do that, I recommend you to review this video KB. It details the steps. Um, in this other video KB, you can see the how to run the DT project in the win Windows client machine. And the steps that I'm going to show you here today is it's a step forward from this video KB. It it's done in the server side. Uh, first, you need to uh, upload the DT project to the server machine. Um, this can be done by IFTP client. It, you must upload it to the under the server CDB directory. After that, you need to set the data transformation environment variables. It can be done by running the setemv script. After have done that, you just run the same console just to make sure it works as expected. Then you finally run the same console, the name of the DT project, uh, dash f as a input file, dash o as output file. Okay, uh, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so here I'm in a FTP client. I my workspace is this directory here, nine one zero workspace. Um, I have just imported this test CME, CME project, so I need to upload it to my server machine. I in my server machine. I'm I'm, I have installed the, the power center under this directory slash home PC961 Informatica 961. So I see here data transformation directory. I have here this serve CDB directory. So I need to upload this one to this location. Okay. It's just about complete. And so I just finished uploading. Let's take a look here. Like I said, under the server CDB, there is a test team. Okay, it's available here. So <clears throat> now under the data transformation directory. What I'm going to do is that I see here two scripts. They do pretty much the same. It, the difference is about your shell, the shell that you are using. In my example here, I'm using bash, so set aim.sh. Okay, you can confirm just typing. Okay, as you can see, the environment variable is set. Okay, now I go to the bin directory and just run the CM console. Okay, just working fine. So, as you can see here, the dash f is the file to be processed by the service and the output dash o is the output file name. Now it's this one that I'm going to run. Okay, I just run a clear to clean up the window. And now I'm going to run the DT project here in the server side. 
so dot slash cm console this is the name of the dt project dash f this is the input file and this is the dash o output file okay let's run it it's running okay let's take a look here if it's the output to xml has been created yes it has been created just run fine so in summary today you have learned how to run a dt project in a server machine by cm underscore console command line would you love to hear from you please get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by twitter twitter in passport thank you